Hey there magic one, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Before we jump on in, this short introduction will cover how you can book a personal reading or healing, connect with me beyond YouTube, join my channel for exclusive content and perks, and learn intuitive tarot with me for free. That's right, you heard correctly, you'll have to watch on to find out how. If none of this interests you, feel free to skip this introduction by clicking on the video progress bar. All of the links for everything I discuss in this introduction are clearly set out for you in the video description down below. I'd love to perform a personal reading or healing for you. Follow the link below to check out the offerings on my website. Readings and healings of different durations are available, including handwritten tarot letters direct from me to you. To connect with me beyond YouTube, join my Karmic community to be part of a guided self-development journey. Hear updates from me and receive special offers. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook where I share more inspo and insights, but please do use the links provided below as unfortunately there are fake accounts out there. You can show your support by sending me a super thanks or becoming a member of my channel. Click join below to watch a video about my exclusive perks and from what I've seen, uh, they're pretty good value so I'd love to have you over there where we connect a lot more deeply. If you're intrigued by tarot and want to learn to guide yourself, I have a free mini course to get you started and I've designed it just for you. You'll find the link down below and you can follow that to gain immediate access to this interactive online course which includes over 40 minutes of video. To learn all the basics of tarot and my signature process for reading tarot from the heart, you can join the initiation which is my four week journey that will take you deeper into the art. Or check out my other channel, The Wild Lotus School of Tarot, where I share my knowledge, experience, tips and tricks to help people like you get started reading tarot. Well, that's it from me for now. I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get on with your reading. Aries, welcome to your tarot reading for September 12th to the 18th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I've got the nine card block here, Aries, three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome, oracles, elite tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck. Aries, I love this reading for us. I um, mean, if you know, I'm an Aries myself and um, I'm always seeing what comes through for us. We've got double aces, a wheel of fortune and the world. Aries, things are going to shift and change. I know from so many of you that I talk to in the comments that you've had a hard run. And for a lot of us, this has not been just this year or the last couple of months. For many of us, this has been like a decade long cycle. There are strong indications for Aries that things are going to shift and are going to change. So I am super duper excited to see the Wheel of Fortune in the world down here. And I would just say, just keep going Aries. So let's jump in with the oracles. The first one out is the Spark of Hustle. And then the next one was one step ahead is all you need. So this is saying, um, you know, Aries, keep the energy, keep the momentum, just break it down to small steps, just keep going, okay? Manage your energy though, and above all else, hold your vision, fixed moon. So it feels like you have some kind of goal in mind that you're trying to, to achieve here, and Look, there might be burnout going on, or it might be just that there's been uh, a long time in realizing this goal. Um, there could be some genuine blocks that you've been presented with along the way, but I just feel that you're about to break through. I am so pleased to see this reading for us, Aries. And who better than to engage with the spark of hustle than the Queen of Wands, Aries? She's your minor arcana, and she's showed up here in the reading. So. You know, this is uh, the energy of determination. Now, the Queen of Wands, um, which is us, is somebody who is in the pursuit of um, new growth, of new passion, of being on purpose, 
of being inspired, lit up, and really using all of that potential to manifest your best life, okay? So I just kind of feel that you're being asked to come back into your Aries fire. If you've lost a little bit of that, uh, I mean, Northern Hemisphere people, you are coming out of summer, right? You've been out and about doing things, having fun. You've been expending a lot of energy and you may need to kind of conserve a little bit, okay, for the journey ahead. Southern Hemisphere people, uh, myself included, we're coming out of, of winter. So it is a time to actually fire up a little bit and to use some of that conserved energy for the next step along the way, right? Ace of Swords is here. I love it. It's a breakthrough energy. It is a victory energy, as is the world. So it feels like you are about to get some kind of victory along this path. Now... The Ace of Swords can be associated with an idea or inspiration or sometimes a communication um, or a truth that arises within you or maybe somebody delivers it to you. Sometimes we don't like hearing truths from other people, but they can be very useful that somehow um, maybe redirects you, um, brings you new opportunities. It just feels like this is the energy that has you cut through. So We'll tune into that one a little bit more along the way, but just wanted to start off by addressing, you know, this two of wands here. And it feels like you are wanting to expand in some way, Aries. Now, the kind of energy that I'm getting here, um, I have to say I'm not really getting a love energy here. I'm getting more of a uh, potential within yourself. Now, it's to do with purpose, which also links into work career, which also links into joy and happiness. It just feels like you are wanting to align your life even more, you know, further so that all of those things can come into to sync to sync. OK, and when when they are working, then everything else that you're wanting, you know, increased love and romance, more money, you know, more happiness and joy. That's just the byproduct of that. So with the two of wands, it feels like, you know, you're ready to expand, broaden your horizons or move towards new potential. Now, the kind of things that this could be is that you might be seeking some kind of new career opportunity. Some of you might be wanting to relocate with the Two of Wands. Some of you might be wanting to take on a course of study. Some of you might be on an entrepreneurial journey. Um, either way, it says that there is a whole world of potential you know, to be tapped into here, Aries. And one thing about you is that you are such a courageous, you know, executor, like you will take the action that is required. Now I've got the Ace of Wands here, and this can actually be an opportunity that has either come your way or will be coming your way if you are seeking. Because I feel like you're you're looking down the track at your future, Aries, and you're trying to make some strategic moves here to position yourself. And that might be why you have begun, you know, looking for whatever the piece is for you. Now, um, the Ace of Wands potentially is some kind of offer or new new idea, new breakthrough, new direction that holds a lot of growth and potential for you. So it may have showed up or it might be on the way, but I think it's also going to stir up some fears, uh, insecurities, uh, you know, the four of pentacles can be, well, okay, cool, you know, that's calm and I wanted it, but now I, I'm holding on, I'm clinging on to where I am, I'm, I'm in the comfort zone at the moment and I'm just not sure if I can let go enough in order to move towards this and I'm feeling specifically that there could be a monetary uh, or resource element to this where in order to move towards this there could be a little bit of a risk involved spending money on that course or that move or to go through an interview process or to leave behind maybe uh, some level of stability or security where you are now. Now you are feeling into these fears areas specifically because you don't want to end up here. This is your greatest fear. Five of Pentacles, which would be like, okay, it didn't work out. Now I'm in a worse position. Not only that, but I don't have, you know, a home or money or feeling isolated or lonely. You know, but that Aries, <laughs> you're so resourceful that I just don't, I don't feel that that will, that will come to you here. So 
you've got some decisions to make Aries um I do get this feeling with the four of cups in the heart of your reading that what is uh the issue for you right now where you are is you there is a level of disconnection or boredom apathy complacency I don't really feel complacency for you but you're not entirely lit up with what you have so these cards are saying areas that you do need to take new action you need to step ahead and you need to hold your vision now notice how this person in the cards looking down at these three cups not this one now the three of cups is joy it's celebrating the fruits of your labor celebrating the harvest three is the number of the empress which is about birthing your heart's desires creating what you'd always wanted to so I just think it's time to fire up and to take that next step, okay? And I think that is what is going to have you move ahead quickly. I'm feeling a, a quantum leap towards that goal, Aries. So I'm just seeing what other signs I've got here. That's Gemini energy for me. I don't actually have any other signs, but it, there might be a Gemini that is associated with you here. But the Knight of Swords is about fast movement, quick progress. You know, after making those decisions, I kind of think you might have been in a bit of a stuck period or holding, holding pattern for a while. But as soon as you decide, as soon as you say yes to whatever this is, it is all on. It's on, on, on. And that's what shifts the Wheel of Fortune for you, Aries. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, we've got the Eight of Pentacles and the World. This is profound, massive, life-changing, life-shifting energy where in six months' time we look back and go, wow, you know, I'm a completely different person in a completely different life. So the Wheel of Fortune says it's time, Aries. It's destined time for these shifts and changes. And you're getting ready for a chapter change. Maybe leaving that 10 or 20 year cycle to move into the new. Now, there will be work involved. Eight of Pentacles. Some hard work, but you won't mind Aries because you will know that you're carving out your next chapter. You're carving out, you know, the path here that's going to work for you. So the Wheel of Fortune says your luck is going to change. Things are heading in a new direction for you. And you're breaking through, finally breaking through. Now, the world is this, the last major arcana that comes after the final judgment. So maybe you've been going through the final judgment, which for me is an awakening to where you've been held back or holding yourself back, where you might be, you know, in your fears, where you might be staying bound and obligated to things that are not working for you, or, you know, where you just might be stagnating so that you can take the action towards liberation and through doing that, you know, we close the cycle of the old and step vulnerably yet powerfully into the new. And the world is one of the biggest cards of victory in the tarot because, you know, that takes strength and courage to close out those cycles and move on, move forward. Let's, um, let's get another one for that outcome, Aries. Oh, Queen of Wands. Do we need anything else? <laughs> Knight of Wands at the bottom. So <laughs> this is just basically saying, Aries, be determined to keep going. Follow your instincts. Follow the Ace of Wands. Follow your passion. Be reaching out for new opportunities because I think that this is all about forward movement for you. And there's something that happens this week that allows you to take one big profound step. So Aries, I'm going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this message. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective and may or may not resonate for you. Drop me a comment if you're called to share. Love connecting with you over there. And please do hit subscribe on your way out to support the channel and keep so many readings coming. Wishing you much love and magic. Aries, do take care. Bye for now.